Nice little leaf-tailed gecko. There's at least uh, two species here. All right. And this one has got a regenerated tail. It's a little bit simpler than the original tail. It just has a cartilaginous uh, rod in there. <laughs> There's a Malagasy superstition in some areas where if a Europlatus screams at you, you have to scream back at it. So I always do that. So. <laughs> Madagascar is this really cool giant island. It's so diverse in terms of the habitats and the topography and different species across different parts of the island. But the question is, what's actually causing the biodiversity that we see in Madagascar? Oh, Sanzinia. Oh, what's he doing oh, there? What do you think he's waiting to grab there? Well, isn't that perfect? Like it's any, totally any, perfect. Any, any little mammal, mammal coming that down, comes he's just by. like he's all curled up, ready to strike. Just, just like bang, just take him off. For sure. So what we're really interested in is understanding the processes of driving speciation here, and we're focusing on snakes to do that. Look at that beautiful sheen on his uh, scales. Is it well. iridescent? Yeah. There's arboreal snakes, there's terrestrial snakes, there's fossorial snakes, which are snakes that are spending most of their time or some of their time underground. Oh, he looks a lot smaller than I remembered. That's a pretty looking snake, though. He's beautiful. Yeah. So you've got snakes filling all these different niches, and we really want to know what's promoting this diversification, what's causing the speciation process to occur at potentially a high rate here in Madagascar. What's special about Madagascar that's made this one particular group of snakes sort of diversify like crazy? Little so slices. you're just clipping the... Just, just taking a little piece of the scale off. So at the end of this project, what we're hoping to have is the phylogeny, which is essentially a family tree that shows how all the different species are related to one another. So the genetics will help us learn about the process of speciation. Okay, I'm ready for that, that All right. guy now. Come on then. I'm sorry that I'm gonna make your tail a little less beautiful. I can't look. You can't look. So obviously they can regenerate their whole tail. This isn't gonna be the end of the world for them. And the tail piece is in the tube. So everybody's had, it's a win-win situation.